So I stopped the trailer, opened the door, and took out Clarence. Clarence was a rhinoceros. And immediately I got him onto the street, he bolted. He set off down quite a steep incline, a lot of cars. And he got to the bottom of it. And I ran after him. And I shouted, Clarence. He looked back, his ears perked up, and he saw me, and he came running towards me, full tilt. There's no traffic on the street at all. Suddenly it's blank, and he's coming towards me. I'm the target. I thought, I'm going to die. He reached me and he jumped over me. And at that point, I woke up. Uh, now, why I was dreaming about rhinoceros, I don't know. We have been feeding the dogs cattle hooves lately, which sort of resemble a rhino horn, but I don't know. Anyway, I was talking about uh, dogs to Mandy on Saturday morning. This is the morning after the dream. And uh, I told her about my uh, encounter with Clarence. And she said, Arthur, if you have a dream on a Friday night and you tell somebody about it before 12 o'clock on a Saturday, it's going to come true. Well, yeah, I never, she's kind of superstitious. I never thought any more about that. And on Sunday morning, mid-morning, I took the dogs out and um, old Queenie, I've got Queenie just now, she's 11 years old, we're looking after her for friends. Suddenly she started running and by the front gate she, there's a squealing set up and this one, Minnie, ran after her and came back with a rabbit in her mouth. Um, Queenie had actually caught a rabbit. Now Queenie's actually in dog terms, she's older than I am. And the thought of her catching a rabbit is just absolutely unbelievable. Um, and later in the day, I've been plagued by moles in my garden for a long time. And uh, I've been setting traps unsuccessfully. But later in the same day, I got a mole in a trap. Now maybe these incidents are unconnected. Maybe the mole and the rabbit have nothing to do with the rhinoceros. Maybe I'm going to get a rhinoceros. You just never know, do you?